Hello everybody, this is Vida26. Um, I am, have been asked to make a little video um, for uh, uh, this today and uh, to update everybody um, as to what's going on. Uh, basically at 10 o'clock this morning we had a phone call from the clinic um, telling us uh, how our um, embryos are getting on. Uh, so we've got eight still. embryos still. Um, and this is like after about 36 hours. Um, there's eight of them and uh, five of them are at two cells and two of them are at three cells and one of them is a four cell. So, and there's no, there's very little fragmentation on any of them. So they're all they're all pretty good quality and they seem to, we think they're roughly on track and we don't think there's much reason to be worried or fearful at this time. Last time. Um, and um, we are waiting to hear back, I think, is it tomorrow? Eight in the morning, yeah. Uh, yeah, they're going to call us back tomorrow, about eight in the morning, to let us know when we're going to go in to have them uh, put back in. So it's either going to be, we're, we're either going to find out uh, yeah, so tomorrow is Monday, right? Yeah. We're going to find out tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning whether we're going to go back into hospital for 11, for 11 o'clock in the morning um, to have them put back in, or it's going to be, it's going to be Wednesday morning for and, and they'll be blasted at stage, so, which, is, which is a hope, isn't it? It's more likely, they say. Yeah, it's more likely than at the time that they're going to be blasted, so, which, which, is, which is a good thing uh, and, and what we would like. They're very provisionally booked, isn't it? So, yeah, it's provisionally booked for... Uh, at eleven on Monday. So it's a bit of bit of acupuncture either side, and uh, and yeah. So so yeah, looking forward to all that. Um, it's kind of exciting, and it's difficult to kind of keep yourself grounded. Um, but you know we, we've done this before, kind of thing. So we kind of know better how to deal with it this time, I think. And um, uh, but still, still hopeful, obviously. Um, uh, I think Cosy wants. Uh, my perspective on things for for the viewers for the viewers, for the viewers at home, uh, and um, yeah, basically, my my view is 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 tricky. Obviously, I'm not going through it physically, and yeah, I'm finding I'm finding it over the last sort of you know twelve months since this journey has begun. I'm fi I've found it very difficult at times. So, you know, Cosy must find it incredibly difficult because my hormones and my body is stable <laughs> and and Cosy's is being constantly toyed with and messed about with with drugs and all kinds of shiz so she she's yeah displayed incredible strength really and uh, I have a lot of respect for her for that and uh, and and it's kind of uh, for me it's been it's been an inspiration to know how to manage my own feelings and hopes and aspirations on the subject because I'm I actually think I'm far more um, emotionally led, actually, than than Karina's. Karina's very level-headed, and I I don't think I am as, as level-headed as she is. And I think that um, um, at times when I've wanted to either be very sad or very happy, or very hopeful or very despondent, that that her sort of stability, emotional stability, despite all the drugs, has <laughs> has kind of like influenced me and and been a. Uh, um, an example for me to and be with, and and yeah, with 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 the miscarriage, obviously that that was that was that was horrible, obviously, and and very very difficult. This time, you know, we're positive and uh, and and uh, looking forward to moving forward with it. Um, we've we've tried to sort of cap how happy or how sad or how hopeful and so on that we. Um, allow ourselves to become because um I think I think you have to for the sake of sort of emotional stability. You know, otherwise otherwise your mood just becomes a sorry? Can't be stressed either. No, you can't be stressed, just you know, you've got to try and just try and keep an even keel on everything. And um as I say, Corinne's been really good at it. Um I say, you know, I'm I wanna be a daddy and and you know, it's 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 hard emotionally for 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 the guy as well, 
in a different way, as I say, not physically, but but definitely emotionally. And also, on an instinctive level, I guess some people are more paternal than others, but I'm told by everyone that I'm very paternal. And I am, apparently. To me as well. <laughs> that sounds weird. But, <laughs> but um... I do look after you, but uh, it's like um, it's like if if you are very paternal and and suddenly or, or maternal, let's say even, and and then suddenly you you're told something's going to happen and then and then it doesn't. Once you know that, you know, once you're pregnant and you're expecting, um, you your your sort of um, instincts immediately sort of take over and come into force, and then when it's taken away. It, those those um, paternal instincts and maternal instincts are still there and growing and, and are growing. Yeah, so it's it, it's tough to kind of let go of that. And um, so so now when we're trying again, it's um, it's it's obviously affecting things emotionally and spiritually for us. But but yeah, we're going into it, you know, as as calmly and stress free as possible. What will be will be. Yeah, yeah. We've had to take that kind of faithless attitude haven't we what will be will be or whatever and um, it's just our coping me- mechanism isn't it and yeah it is, it is tough but it's it's, it's it's exciting and and you have to remain positive and um, and that, that's a bloke's perspective I guess isn't it yeah <laughs> alright cheers bye